So after a short hiatus uh, working outside on the teak trim, uh, it's time to get back in the boat and finish up all the DC electrical wiring. As you can see, I still have quite a mess going on right here in the panel. And some of these light, these are all lighting circuit wires coming down here. Um, one of the things I need to do is remove this annoying little conduit right here. And it runs down from the old panel location down into the bilge. And I think, here's the old panel, uh, I think it runs up the mast. But uh, I'm going to cut them off in the bilge, back pull all the wire, and find out where they go and what they do. So, time for some fun. stuff. Uh, two whites, a gray, uh, black, yellow, a red with a white stripe, and black with a white stripe. I know the black with the white stripe and the red with the white stripe, these two, those go to the forward uh, chain locker for navigation lights. So I know what these two are. So rather than pull all this stuff back to the panel, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, ring it out, label it, and figure out where it goes. I think most of it goes up the mast, but I've got these guys right here, the red with the white stripe and the black with the white stripe. So that comes off the forward cabin breaker, and that is going to be our 12 volt supply for the USB plugs. This white, which I don't like white as a hot in a 12 volt system, and I don't like black as a ground in a 12 volt system. So that's all going to get changed for red and yellow. That shares a common ground, and like I said, I don't like that. Because when everything's making the round trip run back to the battery banks, uh, you're putting extra load on the ground when you're running multiple when you're running multiple wires or multiple feeds and one common ground of the same size you're pulling a lot more amps through the ground than you are through the rest of the uh, other wires so I'm going to start labeling these things the one thing that drives me crazy about this label printer is that the keyboard is set up alphanumerically and it's not QWERTY style, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. So I got all the wire removed from the battery compartment and pulled back to the panel and ripped out all the uh, extraneous wire that is no longer needed. Uh, everything's labeled that goes up the mast, so I know where all the navigation, the masthead light, the anchor light, the foredeck light, what's up kid? All that good stuff. Um, I guess there's nothing else left to do except start dealing with this mess. Jenny gets home from out of town in a couple of hours and uh, I need to get this thing put back together before she gets home. And they're tied to one of the overhead circuits, uh, this one here, 
fans and overhead lights. This one's the all the LED strip lighting and turn that off. That's all the LED strip lighting all around the galley and the, up the port and starboard side. Uh, the ones in the head are tied to fans and overhead lighting. So, oh well. Good morning. Yesterday I finished all the interior cabin lighting and the next circuit on the breaker panel is the navigation lights. Uh, today I'm going to pull new wire to the forward red and green navigation lights and the white stern light behind me. Everything has to splice up in the middle so I'm going to put it on a junction block kind of like this and bring them all together. That way I only have to run two wires back to the breaker panel rather than try and gang a bunch of wires together. It just makes it easier uh, opening and closing the panel and keeping, keeping a lot of the weight off the panel. Um, uh, with the interior lighting, I noticed that the hinges, it's starting to, the panel's starting to gain some weight, so it's getting a little bit heavy, and I'd like to alleviate some of that with uh, consolidating circuits on these Blue Sea bus bars, or terminal blocks, rather, and uh, the aft lighting, the stern light, also hooks up to the compass light, which is neat little red LED that I installed on our old Ritchie Compass and those all join up back in the rear the aft lazarette and those are all going to come down underneath the quarter berth up through a cabinet back in here up into the uh, nav station panel uh, the forward one that's going to be even more fun uh, that one's going to come through a bunch of lockers uh, in the V berth and then through the uh, drawers and hanging lockers that we keep our clothes in right now as well as all the additional lockers down the starboard side and I'm gonna have to drill a bunch of holes and make a bunch of dust and move a bunch of stuff around in order to get to it in order to pull the wires back so that one should be fun <laughs> Don't worry, I already checked to make sure there's no wires behind there. So all these cables along here are temporary because uh, we relocated the battery bank into the engine compartment temporarily so we could clean everything up. Uh, so I had to run extended cables to supply uh, power back to the panel. And you can see that that's there. Those are the main power feeds to the electrical panel. So I'm going to route my wire along the side here, along the inboard side, and keep it out of the way. So here's a handy trick. If you're ever pulling long runs of wire off of a big spools, uh, I just took a screwdriver and ran both yellow and red tip of the screwdriver and then clamp it to wherever you need it to be and then you pull off eight equal lengths it makes it a lot easier keeps everything from getting tangled up
I love these things. They're great. They're zip ties with a little eyelet on the end. I like these things because you can zip tie a bunch of wires up together and secure them to the bulkhead. You can get these things at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. Whatever your home store is nearby. Now I'm going to pull the wire from the panel to the forward navigation lights through all these lockers here, through all of our hanging lockers, and all the way up to the chain locker. So I got some holes to drill and some vacuuming to do, so that should be fun. So in here in the chain locker, I'm going to use heat shrink butt connectors because there's a lot of moisture and a lot of humidity and everything's going to be routed up out of the way, but I don't want, uh, I don't want anything to compromise the connection. So I'm going to use these little heat shrink dealies. So I'm going to heat shrink these uh, connectors here, make them totally watertight it, for up here in the chain locker. And I also put on some labels, let's say nav forward, I don't know if you can see that. So I like these heat shrink butt connectors in damp locations like chain lockers and bilge and places like that, engine room, uh, they just it keeps moisture out it helps extra just an extra measure of keeping the corrosion out of the uh, the wire connector Yeah, I'm not even kidding you. Here's the mess of wires we've been pulling out of that bulge and uh, good God, just everything. Just getting rid of all the old junk. It's difficult to see, but there is a red LED that I installed in our Ritchie Compass. Uh, you can't really, it's, it's hard to see. Here is our white marine beam stern light two nautical miles coast guard approved i think it was 89 bucks not bad starboard side bow navigation light green of course and again another marine beam specialty 90 bucks something like that i don't know if they give us a package deal i forget i don't know anyway and there's the red light, port side. So now we're all lit up like a Christmas tree, red and green. Yay. Christmas in April.
You and the propane, the refrigerator, and the water pump? Yeah. The fridge is hooked up. Propane goes to here. Those are navigation lights. These need to be cleaned up and tightened up. Yeah, I'm taking some 16 gauge wire, duplex yellow and red, and I'm twisting them up in a spiral, and they go back to the, they go from the DC shunt next to the battery cable, uh, and they go back to the, uh, the DC meter on the panel. And this is what measures amps and volts and all that stuff, so that we can keep track of how much juice we use. So why does that have to be twisted? Uh, we twist it because it, it uh, helps avoid any uh, electrical interference from other lines that are running parallel to it. So, so what's the DC shunt about? So the DC shunt has, uh, it's a little bypass on the negative draw on the batteries. And it's, it goes directly between the battery and everything that you draw upon upon the battery bank, whether it's bilge pumps, all the electrical panel, pretty much everything. Hot, even all the way on, if I shut off the whole panel and the DC, uh, uh, the uh, bilge pumps and everything, all that should be recorded on this little gauge right here. And I haven't hooked it up yet. It still has the little, the little peely sticky thing right here, but once I finish hooking up this to the shunt, yeah, basically this is just going to be a digital log of what we're drawing off the DC panel. And that actually is just what's going on currently. It doesn't have a track log, like a record or anything. So I also want to install like a Victron um, meter. And I think it's a Victron. There's one that... Uh, it's a nice little round gauge, tells you your amp draw, it tells you, it tracks it over time, it tracks your uh, your total state of charge, it tells you, you know, how much, how much you're pulling and how much you got left in your battery bank, which is very important because once I finish zip tying it down here, I'm going to hook it to the shunt first. Where's the shunt? So this is the DC shunt. This is temporarily mounted right here on the bulkhead wall. Uh, eventually it's going to be mounted down in here near Jenny's foot. And once I get everything cleaned up and we do the battery box, uh, the DC shunt will go there with a big, uh, we got a couple of big bus bars and everything that, that go in there with the DC negative and the DC positive. All right, so I finally got the DC shunt hooked up to the ammeter that is on the panel. And I'm going to turn on the DC amps, or the DC main. Uh, that little beep was the CO alarm. That's our carbon monoxide alarm. And let's see, currently we're pulling 6.4 6 .4 amps off the battery bank. How many things do you have hooked up to the uh, DC? I got fans, overhead lights, uh, this fan. Watch, I turn this fan on. Amps go up a little bit. Point two. Not much. Turn yeah. some lights on. Barely. Turn a light on. 6.9. So, two tenths. This one. There you go. 7.2. Yeah, that, yeah, that was big. Yeah, there. Yeah. We Our galley. We got, we got six LED strip lights that go on the gal. I think it was about 35. Totally. Yeah, totally. Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah, are you, are you gonna have any dinosaurs on your dinosaur tour? Hello?